All right, so we are looking at area and perimeter story problems, and this is uh, from Unit 6 of Bridges Math, 4th grade. And we might want to first review what is area and what is perimeter. So an example is probably the best way to explain, but if this were a rug for the classroom, it's 9 feet long, and... The area is 72 square feet. So basically, <clears throat> the area is what space it takes up. So the blue part is the area. And the perimeter is the space that goes around the outside. So the first question is, what is the width? And we can do that, we know, from division, right? What 72 divided by 9 equals what? <clears throat> or what times 9 equals 72? And hopefully we know that that would be 8 feet. <clears throat> now the perimeter is going to be around the outside. So what is the perimeter? But let's talk about that for a second. There are a few ways to do perimeter. The most basic way when you're starting out might just be to add up all of those sides. 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 <clears throat> and figure out what you got. But as you become more advanced with your math, you know there's some formulas you can use. And what I mean, you're always going to have the same number twice. I have 8 twice, and I have 9 twice. So I could just multiply 8 by 2 and add it to 9 times 2. <clears throat> or let me give you one other way to do it. If I add those two numbers together, 8 plus 9, <clears throat> that's going to happen twice. So I could also just do 8 plus 9 and then multiply by 2 whatever that is. And I'm not going to uh, give you the answer because you have three different ways you could solve it, <clears throat> but that is going to be the perimeter of that rug. So then number two is going to follow that exact same pattern that we did for number one. Uh, this time she's making a painting on a piece of wood of four feet and the area is 28 feet. So first you need to figure out um, what is this side? <clears throat> How long is a piece of wood? And then, using the same formula we just did, figure out the perimeter, uh, one of those formulas. And then down here, we have a school playground. And it's just asking for the perimeter, not the area. So once again, <clears throat> try one of these three methods you see over here to figure out what is the perimeter of that playground. And now this other one here for number four, uh, I think it needs a little bit of an explanation here. So. Okay, we have Michael and Shanice, or sorry, Micah and Shanice, who are decorating a bulletin board. So just like uh, this is outside of Miss Branca's room, for example, you have these bulletin boards, but sometimes people want to change the color of the background. So they're going to cover it with craft paper, and the roll is one yard wide. So what you need to understand here is like for like large pieces of paper, they often come on rolls like this. So here's even like eight different rolls of paper. So you need to cover up this board with this paper and using the rolls, which are one yard or three feet wide. So what are two different ways you could cover up this board with yellow paper? So let's look and see. Okay, if it's seven feet uh, wide, one way I could do it is I could cover it with one long piece of paper like that. And remember, that's going to be 3 feet each time. So that's 3 feet by 11, 3 feet by 11. And then down here, I'm going to say that this is uh, 7 feet. So I only need one more foot here. So I'm basically going to be uh, just cutting off this extra paper on the side. Then the other way to do it here is to do it um, the opposite, which is to do it vertically. So if I cut this 11 feet down, it would be what? three feet, three feet, three feet. So that would be three, three, three. And then this last section would be two feet. And again, I'm gonna have some extra that I'm cutting off on the end. So that's two ways to do it. You could actually do it in other ways. You could split up this uh, in the opposite direction or do the same here. But the question five is what, um, which way wastes less paper? So look, and my little extra paper I have here. Here I wasted 2 by 11 <clears throat> square feet of paper and for this one here that's only going to be one right? I wasted 1 by 7 extra paper. So which way 
which w uh, wasted less, or can you even do it in a way that wastes even less than that? So that's the problem, bulletin boards, and this was your uh, homework, area and perimeter story problems, and thank you.